Somewhere along the line during my evolution towards who I am today, I stumbled on books and videos that discussed Elon Musk. The multi-billionaire who has an insane work ethic and is the CEO of a lot of companies including Tesla, SpaceX, OpenAI, Starlink, Hyperloop, and the boring company just to name a few. Elon soon became my favorite and I figured out that I wasn't half as productive daily as he is. I, therefore, sought to increase my daily hours of productivity. One of the ways I sought to do this was to reduce my daily hours of sleep to 5. My experiences while trying that modification is what I will be sharing in this video. Welcome future millionaires to yet another episode on this channel. I hope that you all are doing okay. If you are new here, you are welcome to Millionaire by 25 YouTube channel. The best place on the internet to get inspiration and information about wealth, business, and making money online. So be sure to subscribe so that you can be informed when we put out new amazing videos like this one. With that being said, let me continue with my story. Elon Musk usually takes just Sundays off to see his family, and as for the rest of the week, he works every waking hour, skips breakfast, and sleeps an average of 6 hours every night. I didn't plan to skip breakfast anyway, but I did try to increase my daily hours of productivity while simultaneously decreasing my hours of sleep to 5. I felt there was a lot to be done and it made sense to try to get as much done in one day as possible. Initially, I tried sleeping by 1 am daily so that I could wake up by 6 am. It didn't work. I usually couldn't make it till 1 am because by 8 pm, I am usually already exhausted. It was a struggle staying awake till 1 am. This routine didn't work well for so many reasons, and worse, even when I did sleep by 1 am, I was too tired to make it out of bed by 6 am. Since that plan wasn't working fine, I decided to tweak things a little. I decided to take a nap in the evening for about 2 hours and then sleep for another 3 hours from around 3 am. It was a good plan and it worked for a while. The nap I took in the evenings allowed me to recoup the much needed energy to work into the night. It took a few weeks, but eventually, I realized that I was going to break down soon if I didn't make a conscious effort to get more sleep. It was more disheartening to realize that my days weren't completely productive anyway. How many hours should you sleep daily? This is a rather interesting question and quite frankly, there isn't one correct answer. However, extensive research does tell us that an adult needs between 6 to 8 hours daily. And I must add, if you really want to live long enough to enjoy all the wealth you are going to accumulate in this life, you probably should endeavor to get enough sleep. It isn't so much about how many hours of sleep you get daily. What is more important than that is what you do with your waking hours. Today I average 6 to 7 hours of sleep every day. But I achieve a lot more than I used to when I was trying to implement 5 hours of sleep. The big changes for me include some of the habits I have discussed in my other videos. But in this video, I want to re-emphasize social media detox. This one factor can have very dramatic effects on your daily levels of productivity. Before now, social media does take some portion of my day. There is always a lot to see and it is easy to drift from one post to another aimlessly. There is huge competition for your attention. Everyone wants your attention. YouTube wants your attention, friends, family. Companies want your attention and that's why they run ads. Not so many people care about what you want for yourself. They care about what value you can provide them and it is for this reason that you have to take it into your own hands to ensure that you have gotten all you want out of your day before you turn to social media for relaxation. What I began doing recently is to put my phone on flight mode from 8 am until almost 4 pm. This allows me to completely disconnect from the outside world and get things done. So, what's the biggest takeaway from this video? It doesn't really matter how many hours you sleep. In fact, studies have shown that the more sleep you get, the better your performance levels and mood during the day. There is a threshold anyway, beyond which that extra sleep is doing you more harm than good. Many successful people do not get enough sleep, but that doesn't mean you have to do the same if you do not want to. By far, the habits that have helped increase my daily levels of productivity include Planning my day, avoiding social media in the morning, exercise, and meditation. Which of these are you going to try today? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. And we will see you in the next video.
As always, stay energized.